Last time on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. He's right for $64,000. He just won $125,000. Here it is for $250,000. Which of the following objects is needed to engage in the sport of burling? I am going to use a 50-50. And that's a nice chunk of change to take home sure with me. I am going to stop right now. All right. Greg Pallaro. Yeah. yeah. You're right for $2,000. Now join us from New York for night 49 of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another night of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Now, before we get started, we just want to take a moment to thank some very special people. And that's all 30 million of you. Thank you for being there even when we're not listed in the TV sections, even when you don't know what's coming on. We appreciate it. And you kids, thanks for staying up past your bedtime to watch. But remember this, you better have better grades next semester. And back here in our studio, we have an aspiring sportscaster, student from Ohio State University, who just can't wait to announce his answers. And last night, they were all correct. Nice to have you back, Greg. Thank you. Greg Pallaro from Columbus, Ohio. Mm -hmm. So, you want to be a sportscaster? Uh, that'd be great. I guess every young guy goes through that phase. I remember I did. I used to call imaginary games, call home runs, you know. Yeah. Want to hear mine? I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. Okay. Okay, ready? Sure. Bobby Feller, on the mound. Into the stretch. Here's the pitch. DiMaggio swings. A long drive to left center field. It's going, going. That ball is gone. The Yankee <laughs> Clipper. Home run. There you go. Now, you've done that, I'm sure you have, oh, right? Yeah. Okay, let's hear it. This one's got a little wishful thinking to it. Ken Griffey Jr., making his Reds debut, settles into the box, waiting for the pitch. Here it comes from Rocker. He turns that one around in a hurry. That's deep, deep to center field. Andrew Jones looks up. That one won't come back. It's gone. Home run, Griffey. There you go. <laughs> a home run for Kenny Griffey. That's a lot of fun. Every kid's dream, I think, who's a sports fan wants to be a sportscaster. They're a special breed. Your mom is back in the audience. How you doing there, Barbara? Uh, a little more nervous than yesterday. I am. <laughs> and how is your son holding up? You know uh, him best. He said he hasn't slept since last Saturday. Oh, no kidding, Greg. You're that nervous, huh? A little bit. Yeah, okay, fine. Not so bad today. Well, we want you to settle down and then enjoy what you're doing. You've won $2,000. You're nine questions away from winning the $1 million. Once you reach the $32,000 level, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least that much money. And you've got two of your lifelines left to help you. 50-50 with the computer will take away two of the wrong answers, leaving the correct answer and the wrong one. And finally, you can phone a friend where our friends at AT&T will help you call anyone anywhere in America to see if they can help you out. So if you're ready, Greg, if the studio audience is ready, come on, let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. We're going for $4,000 right now, Greg, and here it is. In what country did the sleeping mat known as a futon originate? Japan, Chile, Egypt, Belgium. I believe that's D, Belgium. Belgium? Final answer? Final answer. Oh, Greg, Greg, Greg. No, I'm sorry. It's Japan. Japan. Yeah. Well, let, let's see. I guess you go back to $1,000. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was a nice call <laughs> you made. <laughs> you did a good job, Greg. And thanks so much for doing this. I'm sorry. I'm Japan. Full time. Okay. Oh, boy. Greg, Greg, Greg. It's tough to see you go, my boy. Nice try anyway. But now we've got 10 new contestants who aren't too unhappy about this. Who are they tonight? Let's find out. They are Ned Frost from Havertown, Pennsylvania. Jack Lester, New York City. Alan Patterson, Salem, Oregon. Matt Phillips, Washington, D.C. Bowen Karen, Swampscott, Massachusetts. Steve Collins, Clarkston, Georgia. Jim Mills, Akron, Ohio. Fleming Free, Duluth, Georgia. Tom Bonifant, Fonda, New York. 
Dave Waters, Yellow Springs, Ohio. Okay, contestants, congratulations on getting this far. Now, here's how it works. In a moment, a question and four answers will appear on your screens. The one who puts those answers in the correct order in the fastest time will be our next player. Audience, we need complete silence here. Thank you very much. Here comes the question. Put these animated television series in the order they debuted, starting with the earliest. Dr. Katz, The Critic, South Park, The Simpsons. Okay, everybody, time's up here. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest. And it was The Simpsons, then The Critic, then Dr. Katz, Finally, South Park. That's the correct order. See you got it right in the fastest time. The winner, Jack Leshner. Congratulations, Mr. New York, a hometown guy. You ready to play? I'm ready to Come play. on, let's do it. If you hear that extra applause, it's because Jack Leshner is a hometown boy here in New York City. Nice to have you here. Thank He's you. a writer, and his wife, Sam, is a writer as well. Hi, Sam. Hi. Nice to have both you guys here. Well, we haven't gone through many questions le yet, so we'll save the interview for our next round, okay? Okay. You ready to play, Jack? You bet. You know what goes on here, right? The rules, the lifelines, 50-50. Ask the audience, phone a friend. It's all here for you. So if you're ready, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> Okay, Jack, for $100, we begin with how many arms does an octopus have? Five, six, seven, eight. That would be D, eight. You're right, he's got eight. She's got eight. $100. $200. Take a look. On what television game show are members of the audience encouraged to come on down? Hollywood Squares, Wheel of Fortune, The Price is Right, Jeopardy. Well, this is my wife's other favorite game show, so I know it's C, The Price is Right. And she and you are absolutely right. The Price is Right. $300. Take a look. Which of the following might you find in a household toolbox? Moose drill, monkey wrench, pig pliers, duck hammer. That's B, monkey wrench. Monkey wrench is it for $300. Here comes the $500 question. According to a song by Irving Berlin, a pretty girl is like what? A flower, a melody, a work of art, a day without sunshine. That's B, a melody. Sure, it's a pretty girl is like a melody. Irving Berlin, $500. Here it is now for $1,000. In what U.S. city would you find the building known as the Space Needle? Miami, Denver, Seattle, Salt Lake City. Figures in one of my favorite movies, The Parallax View, it's C, Seattle. Final answer? Yes. It's a good one. You won $1,000. Well, there you go. Well, $1,000,000. All his lifelines are with him. Come on back and see how he does. Jack Lesnar, he's won $1,000, 10 questions away from uh, winning $1 million. You're a writer, huh? Yes. You're working on something now? I'm working on a book right now. Mm -hmm. It's called One Man, Seven Days, 12 Televisions. Which means? It's, that's what it's about. I spent a week last September watching 12 television sets at once for 15 hours a day. And, and lived to write about it. I did. The book is about that week and everything I saw and what I thought about it. What's the best thing you saw? Um... I'm a big fan of the ABC show, Once and Again, actually. And they uh -huh. didn't pay me to say that. Yeah. Did you notice our show at all? Uh, it wasn't on that week, in fact. Uh-huh. Right. Great week to watch, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> and Sam is in the audience, too. And Sam, you got a little mascot up there, huh? Yeah. Who is that? This is Grover. I, yeah. And what does Grover <laughs> do for you? Well, he was my husband's first present to me. And he looks a lot like Jack. He has a big nose, and he's furry and lousy posture. <laughs> It's a dangerous toy to give your wife. <laughs> She's a dangerous wife. <laughs>
Uh, well, we're glad you're here, Sam, and Thank you too, you. Grover, and you too, Jack, and the congratulations. And here we go now for $2,000. Come on, let's play. <laughs> Here it is for $2,000. Which of the following describes your prize money before any taxation or deductions? Net, gross, interest, liability. That would be B, gross. Final answer? Yes. Yes, it's gross. What about $2,000? We're going for $4,000, and here it is. What small New England city is the setting and title of a popular primetime television drama? Providence, Newport, Portland, Burlington. Well, I should know this after writing the book. Um, it's A, Providence. Final answer? Yes. Yeah, you're right. It's Providence. <laughs> He's eight questions away from one million now, going for 8,000. Take a look. What is the proper term for a quarter bottle of champagne? A magnum, carafe, split, a pint. Okay. A magnum, I know it's not, because a magnum is a bigger one. Um, it's a carafe, a split, or a pint. Now, of course, one of them could be a half bottle. I'm pretty sure it's not a pint. I've never heard of a pint of champagne. Besides what, there are four, four point, uh, wait, there are two pints to a quart and four quarts in a gallon, so that would be an eighth of a gallon. And a, a bottle of champagne isn't half a gallon, so that rules out pint. So it's between split and carafe. I feel like I'm loaded already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big drinker, unfortunately. Never thought I'd say unfortunately about that. Well, I'm risking $3,000, but I feel pretty confident, actually. I'm going to go with C, a split. Okay, you're, you're passing up your lifelines. You've got three of them. You're going to go for a split? Yes. And that's your final answer? It is. It's a good one. You got it. <laughs> the split, $8,000. Okay, here it is now for $16,000. Which of the following languages is categorized as Germanic? Welsh, Russian, French, English. Well, French is a romance language, so that's certainly not. Russian, that's uh, not Germanic. And Welsh, uh, I lived in England, so... Um, well, is Welsh any more Germanic than English? Welsh is sort of like Gaelic, although the... Irish people here will probably kill me for saying that. English, well, wait a minute, English is, I know it's got the French influence from uh, William the Conqueror, but it's it's derived from German, or, or from the Franks, whatever. Okay, I'm pretty confident. I'll go with the English. I love the way you talk it out. <laughs> it's Sand, the only thing I can do. Does he talk to himself a lot when he's alone? He sings to himself oh, a lot. Oh, he sings to himself. Final answer? Final answer. Is English, you're right for $16,000. You're in great shape, my man. You've got your three lifelines left. You're going for 32000 Should you make it, you'll be at least assured of leaving with, with that much money. Six questions away from one million. Here's the next question. In the 1987 film, Dirty Dancing, Patrick Swayze plays a dance instructor in what vacation area? The Catskills, Walt Disney World, Fort Lauderdale, Yellowstone Park. My father used to work as a waiter at one of the hotels there, so I know in this case it's A, the Catskills. Final answer? Yes, it is. Sure, it's the Catskills, you know that. $32,000. Jack Lester, there it is. Doing very well, here. 
Getting very exciting now. Five questions away from the million and three lifelines still ready to go. Now, you said uh, you, uh, you sing, or rather, Sam told us that you sing quite a bit, huh? Pretty much all the time. And you're a writer, and I understand you write parodies to different movies and yeah. what have you? My, my mother actually writes song parodies for uh, weddings and uh, birthdays and occasions like that, so she's passed on the song parody gene to me. Give me a little and bit of that gene. Well, well we, we do an Oscar card every year instead of a Christmas card, because for us, the Oscars are the big holiday of uh -huh. the year. So we do a, a card with parodies of the five nominated movies and then five others that we want to make fun of. Okay, so, I'll take one that you want to make fun of. Okay, well, actually, it was one that was nominated last year, uh, which was The Thin Red Line. Uh -huh. If you see Travolta on the screen, and he disappears after one scene, walk on part, walk on part, <laughs> The Thin Red Line, the film that gives its stars no chance to shine. You're wrong if you thought that the trailer showed you just the start. Walk on part. <laughs> Very good, I enjoy that. Terrific. All right, Grover may look like him, but can he sing like him? No. No, he sure he can't. Nice voice. Thank you. All right, now listen, let's get serious here. You want $32,000, you can go home with at least that much money. You're going for $64,000, five away from the million. Let's play. <laughs> here it is, Jack. In the, in the 1868 novel, Little Women, which of the March girls is the oldest? Amy, Beth, Meg, Joe. I knew I should have read this book. <laughs> Regis, I'm gonna ask the audience on this one. Sure, okay, no problem. Audience, Jack needs a little help right here. On your keypads using A, B, C, O, D. Please vote now. Okay, 55% feel it's a Meg, and uh, Joe came in with 34%. Well, I'm pretty sure it's not Joe. I'm pretty sure Joe is the youngest. So, um, that's pretty clear then. I'm gonna go with C, Meg. C, Meg, and that is your final answer. Guess so. They're right, $64,000. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you. And here it is for 64000 Jack. All righty, one lifeline down, two to go, four questions away from uh, the million. Here it is for $125,000. According to the Old Testament, which prophet is taken up to heaven in a chariot of fire? Elijah, Elisha, Jonah, Isaiah. I think I actually know this one. But just to make sure, it's not Jonah, because he's the one with the whale. It's not Isaiah. I'm pretty sure it's Elijah. Elijah's chariot. That sounds right. I, I know my wife will kill me if I'm wrong, but uh, I'm going to go with A, Elijah. All right, you'll lose 32,000 if you are wrong, but you'll go up to 125 if you're right. So the final answer is? A, Elijah. You're right, it's Elijah! <laughs> Okay, okay, you got two lifelines left. You're going for a quarter million dollars here. Just want to remind you, you miss, you lose 93,000, but you're just three questions away from a million, Jack. A million. That's a good feeling. Yeah, nice feeling. All right, here it is for $250,000. How much does a player on the losing team currently earn for his performance in the Super Bowl? $10,000, $33,000, $80,000, $120,000. I am a complete sports illiterate, and I have no idea whatsoever about this, so I'm going to have to use the phone a friend. Aha, uh -huh. who are we calling? Uh, we're going to call Larry. Larry is your sports, uh... Larry is my sports connection. He's also my cousin. All right, good. We'll call Cousin Larry, and ATT will find him, get him on the line for us. Hello? Hello, Larry. Yes? Regis Philbin here from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Hi, I'm thinking this is not a social call. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it is a social call, but it's an important one. I've got your cousin Jack here. All right. And he needs your help. He's doing very well. He's won 125000 Wow. He's going for a quarter million, but he needs you, Larry, to get there. I'm here. All right. Now, when he comes on the line, he's going to read the question and four possible answers. One of them is the right answer. Okay. All right, good. 
So, uh, Jack, it's all yours, and you've got 30 seconds, and they start right now. How much does a player on the losing team currently earn for his performance in the Super Bowl? 10,000, 33,000, 80,000, 120,000. The player on the losing team this year in the Super Bowl. It says How currently much did he earn. Make this year, losing team in the Super Bowl. 11 seconds left. I. I, I do you know? Say something. I don't know, Jack. Jack, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. Thanks. I, I would guess 80 or 100. All right. We still have 50-50. The 50-50, Regis, is going to be absolutely no use to me. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to have to walk away with what I got. Stymied by sports, huh? Sorry. That's all right. You're a great contestant, a great guy, and $125,000 is a nice payday for you. Here you go, Jack. Thanks, Larry. Thank you very much. Well, the local boy did pretty good, didn't he? The correct answer, of course, $33,000. But we still have nine more contestants on the line of scrimmage, so here's the next fastest finger question. Put these movies featuring Robert De Niro in order of their first theatrical release. Starting with the most recent. Analyze this. The Deer Hunter. Cape Fear. Midnight Run. Okay, time's up, everybody. Let's see the answer in the correct order. Starting with the most recent. And it was Analyze This. Then Cape Fear. Then Midnight Run. Finally, The Deer Hunter. The right order. Let's see who got it right. The fastest time. The winner... Contestant, the 24-year-old high school math teacher in Newton, Massachusetts. Actually, he lives in Swampscott, Massachusetts. Congratulations, Bowen. Oh, thank you very uh, much. Getting for in that seat. Girlfriend uh, Nancy standing sitting by up there. Hi, Nancy. Hi, how are you? Doing? Nancy works in the internet, huh? Yes. What do you do? Um, I work in tech support and design. Uh huh. Yeah. All right, good. Mm -hmm. Now listen, math teacher, not everybody's favorite subject. You know, no. kind of difficult. How do you motivate your students these days to keep going? Uh, well, um, for uh, for prep for tests, I use game shows. Do you? Who wants to win 100 homework points? There you go. Now you're talking. Cla kids could, uh, could uh, use their lifelines, use a 50-50. They could ask the rest of the class. Sure. Good. Uh, work I, their way up the... Up the uh, it makes it fun and uh, it's rewarding as well. I think so. All right, fine. All right, Bowen, here we go. You, uh, you know about the rules. You know about the lifelines. You've been watching our show 50-50. Ask the audience, uh, phone a friend. So if you're ready, Bowen Karens, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Here we go. <laughs> For one hundred dollars, which of the following vehicles has no wheels? Go kart, toboggan, skateboard, wagon. Um, I'm, I'm doing this, by the way, for the sake of all the people in Newton, Massachusetts, who told me not to get the first question wrong. <laughs> That's right. Answer is B, toboggan. Sure, you're right. Toboggan is the answer. You got it for a hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. In which of the following places would you most likely keep a pet piranha? Aquarium, cage, corral, shoebox. Oh, I believe the answer is A, aquarium. It's an aquarium. You're right. Two hundred. Three hundred dollars. Here we go. What are famously known fans of the NFL team, the Green Bay Packers, called? The Packers, Six Packers, Cheeseheads, Green Sleeves. I was going to wear cheesehead today, but they wouldn't let me. Oh, the answer is C, cheeseheads. C for cheeseheads. You're right, of course. Green Bay Packers, cheeseheads. All right, you've won 300. Here it is for $500. What characters does Gillian Anderson play on the television series The X Files? Sally, Sandra, Scully, Smitty. Uh, the answer is C, Scully. Yeah, they call us Scully. You're right for 500. Going for $1,000. This one right down your alley and right down your glasses alley. How many degrees are in a right angle? 60, 90, 180, 360. I'm just gonna pee. <laughs> <laughs> sure, of course, everybody would class through that. 90 degrees. He's 
want a thousand dollars he's going for two thousand and this is the question in one of the most infamous crimes of the century what american hero's son was kidnapped and killed charles Lindbergh, martin luther king jr joe dimaggio john glenn uh, that would be the Lindbergh baby incident. So the answer is A. Final answer. Yes. Yes, it was the Lindbergh baby. Yeah. Right. You're doing well for four thousand dollars. Take a look. Introduced in 1950, what was America's first nationally accepted credit card? American Express, Visa, Mastercard, Diners Club. Hmm. Well, since this is real money. I'm going to ask the audience and get some help. That's what they're there for. Okay, audience, we need your help here. If you're ready, audience, on your keypads using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, nearly 50% feel it's Diners Club. Okay. American Express came in second with 24%. Um, I'm going to be willing to trust that, even though it's not a majority. The audience is great. And I'm going to answer D, Diners Club. That, final. Was, that was my first instinct. So. First instinct, and that is your final answer? Yes. Dinah's Club is right! <laughs> He's won $4,000. Now, here it comes for $8,000. Actress Courtney Cox appeared in which of these rock stars' music videos? John Mellencamp, Bruce Springsteen, Rick Springfield, Rod Stewart. I don't have cable. <laughs> no MTV, no VH1, none of those. <sighs> well, you know, I hate to burn the other lifeline this quickly, but I know someone who will be perfect at this. Who's so that? So I'm going to phone uh, Alan McDougall. Alan, what does he do? He's a uh, social science teacher at my high school. All right, fine. We'll get Alan on the line. AT&T will find him, bring him to us, and let's see if he can help. Hi, Regis Philbert from ABC who wants to be a millionaire. Hello. Do you have cable? Do I, yes, I do. Okay. Well, I'm here with uh, <laughs> I'm here with Bowen, and he needs your help right now. He's won four thousand. He's going for eight thousand dollars. In a moment, he's going to give you the question and four possible answers. One of them is the right answer. Okay. Okay. All right. The next voice you hear will be Bowen's. You've got thirty seconds, Bowen, and they start right now. Pop culture. Pop actress Courtney Cox appeared in which of these rock stars music video? But actress he, Courtney Cox appeared John in which Mellencamp, rock star? John Mellencamp. Uh, John Mellencamp, Bruce Springsteen, Springsteen Rick, Springfield, Rick Springfield, Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart. Those are the four choices. Uh, B. Are you confident? I'm pretty confident. B. Okay. Completely sure? As close as I can get. Sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. All right. Thanks a lot. Sure. I thought you might ask him for a percentage. <laughs> Maybe a fraction. There you go. Uh, final answer B, Bruce Springsteen. All right, we're going with him. And he's right, Bruce Springsteen's the answer. We're going for $16,000 when we get back and we got one lifeline. Let's see how he does. everybody do you all know what happened tonight six years ago exactly six years ago our quiet math teacher from Newton Massachusetts won the world championship pinball uh, contest <laughs> defeating over 700 contestants right here in New York City that's right my gosh you were a teenage pinball champ right age 18 it was the, and it was the last day that it was Sunday February 6th uh-huh and how do they do that do they invite everybody here to New York to play the same machine everybody comes to New York you play a qualifying and then you play head-to-head -head against four three other players at once on the same the same physical machine they rank your scores the best players move on to the finals now do your students know how long you must have spent practicing pinball <laughs> <laughs> I try not to tell them because I know what it did to me well, it made you a champion. Let's hope the same thing happens tonight. Thank you. All right, here we go, Bowen. You've won $8,000. You're going for $16,000. we have got seven questions away from the million. Let's play. Let's go. <laughs> Who 
Which of the following prefixes means all? Pan. Parry. Para. Pro. Well, let's see. There's panorama, which is a, a widescreen shot. Um, Peter Pan, but he's kind of short. Um, that doesn't help. Um, there's pandemic, which is an epidemic that grows to gigantic proportions. So I'm confident to go with A as my final answer. Didn't even look at the others ones, huh? Final answer? Yes. You didn't have to. You're right. It's Pan. Okay, one more away now, and you'll get the thirty-two thousand dollars, and you can leave with that at least. Then. So take a look now for thirty-two thousand. What American comedian suggested that his epitaph read, "I'd rather be in Philadelphia"? Buster Keaton, W. C. Fields, Groucho Marx, Jack Benny. I doubt the 50-50 will be of much help. I'll go with it anyway. Okay, sure. Computer, please take away two of the wrong answers, uh, leaving one right answer and one wrong. W.C. Fields and Jack Benny. All of these uh, fellows were before your time. Well... Well, I mean, Jack Benny was a TV comedian. Um, W.C. Fields was not. Additionally, W.C. Fields is well known for kind of insulting humor rather than Jack Benny. $16,000 is, well, not as much money as some people went on this show. But uh, it's a good, good chunk of change, so it's tough to risk $15,000 on an answer. I think it's B, but I'm not confident. Can I ask the audience again? No. <laughs> no, no, all your lifelines are gone, unfortunately. We're down to Fields and Benny. And you're right, you would lose 15,000 or you might win 32,000. Right. Win 32,000, then I have a free shot of the next question. No harm, no foul. Who knows what might happen there? That's right. Maybe if I get it wrong, they'll take up they'll take up a collection at the high school for me. Let's and, hope so. Uh, then I can get well. I got thousand dollars anyway. Sure. Um, I think the answer is B. Make it your final answer? Yes. You got it right. <laughs> All right, he's had a lifeline. He's going for 64,000. We'll be right back. Owen Karen's $32,000. Colin Karen's a high school math teacher. I'll bet everybody in the class is watching and cheering for you right now, huh? I cannot believe this is actually happening to me. I am. Well, you reached that magic level, 32,000. You're safe for 32,000. The next question could be a guess, mm -hmm. all right? But you're out of lifelines, so let's uh, proceed with caution. Here it comes for $64,000. You ready? Let's play! <laughs> Which of the following is not the title of a book by James A. Mishner? California, Alaska, Hawaii, Texas. Hmm. Well, um, I know a few Mishner books, but unfortunately, uh, this are, these are not among them. Um, I think it's going to be either Alaska or Hawaii because I know Mishner is known for 
doing the history of something. And uh, certainly there's a lot, a lot more history behind California and Texas than there are behind Hawaii and Alaska. Uh, additionally, Alaska has its own history in that uh, there was a, such a dispute over it in the 19th century. Um, so I'm going to go with C, Hawaii. You wish right now you were a English teacher? I wish I had another phone so I could call a couple yeah. English teachers, but yes. Okay, you, you've worked it over pretty good, and you say Hawaii is your final answer? Yes, C, Hawaii is my final answer. I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry, okay. Bowen. It was California, but That's you won okay. $32,000, okay? And here it is, big guy. And good luck to you. Okay. Ah, oh, boy. Tough luck, Bowen. Good luck tomorrow in class. Now, we've still got eight contestants ready to go, so here is the next fastest finger question. Put these U.S. governors in geographical order by the state they represent, going from east to west. Jesse Ventura, Gary Locke, George Pataki, George H. Ryan. Okay, everybody, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting in the east. George Pataki, George H. Ryan, Jesse Ventura, and Gary Locke. That's the correct order. Who got it right? And in the fastest time, Matt Phillips, the only one. Right over here, Matt. Congratulations, sir. On a plane? Yeah. Let's go. All right, Matt Phillips in the hot seat right now, who works in Washington, D.C. As a matter of fact, he's a press a secretary for a California uh, congressman. Yes. And he is? Congressman Steve Horn. Aha, uh -huh, good for you. And how did you get that job? Well, I, I knew I wanted to work on Capitol Hill coming out of college, and it was just one of those random connections. Mm -hmm. Now, as press secretary, you've got to articulate all, all of his positions. Right. That's good. That's great training for you. And your dad is in the audience, Jack? Hi. How you doing? Fine, thanks. And where, where do you live, Jack? I live just north of Baltimore in Forest Hill. Aha, uh -huh, so that's your home base, Baltimore. Yes. Huh? All right, well, Matt, congratulations on, uh, on uh, getting in that hot seat. Now you know about the rules, you know about the lifelines. It's all here. 50-50, ask the audience, phone a friend. So if you're ready, Matt, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> we start with the $100 question. If you perform perfectly, you are said to be batting what? Left-handed, average, a thousand, Babelicious. See a thousand. Yeah, it's a thousand. You're right. Two hundred dollars. What do they practice on ABC's television series, The Practice? Medicine, law, accounting, parallel parking. <laughs> uh, it's B law. Yeah, you're right. It's law. Good. We're going for three hundred dollars. Here it is. What toy can an expert use to walk the dog, rock the baby, and go around the world? Hula hoop, yo-yo, slinky, magic eight ball. I can't do any of those things, but it's a yo-yo, Pete. It's a yo-yo, $300. $500. Which of the following often refers to a distracting or misleading clue? Red herring, blue fox, white pony, Green Cheetah. Red Herring, yeah. Yeah, it's the right one, of course. Red Herring, $500. Here it is, Matt, for $1,000. Which of the following beverages should generally be avoided by a lactose intolerant person? Milk, water, soda, orange juice. It means they can't drink milk, eh? Hey? It's milk, you're right, you won $1,000. All the right answers and no hesitation in those uh, first questions. Sometimes might, they bother I might have to people. slow down a little bit. I want, I want to be one of those. Uh... All right, check it out now for $2,000. Here it is. In which of these national parks would you find the geyser Old Faithful? Big Bend, Yellowstone, Grand Canyon, Yosemite. Mm, pretty sure it's Yellowstone. I'm going um, to pull the audience in this, please. Okay, fine. Audience, we need some help here for Matt. 
On your keypads using ABCOD, please vote now. Well, 83% said what you yeah. said, uh, Yellowstone. Yeah. What do you think? I'm going to go with that B, final answer. Final answer, B, final answer, Yellowstone. It's the right answer for $2,000. Gosh, that sound means that we're out of time for tonight, but Matt will be back here on Tuesday night, and joining him will be 10 new contestants from all over the country. And they are Michael Hodder, Tim Gilligan, Linda Pollock, Mark Griswold, Ken O'Brien, John Marsh, Judy Tagay, Bob Wickens, Janet McElligott, and Tim Aaron.